Hello everyone. So here's my most recent discovery that I really want to share with you because I think it's just great and it, it, it just solved the problem that I uh, was just really annoyed by and it concerns WordPress.com. So as you probably know, um, there is WordPress.com and WordPress.org. Whereas WordPress.org just allows you, you know, to download WordPress, this you know great blogging platform, to um, install it yourself. There's also WordPress.com, which does all the hosting for you. Um, the only downside is that it doesn't allow you to install plugins. So here's the thing: I host my own blog, uh, which you can see here. That's just one example post on WordPress.com, and I happen to sometimes just you know use tables i mean i don't i don't really think tables are obsolete or you know don't deserve you know being used um but sadly you know as you can see here this table um if you if you go into the back end of wordpress.com there's just no visual tool that helps you to create a table you know you can just have a look at the advanced um uh, buttons there is no button to help that would help you to create a table so what you have to do is you have to fiddle around with HTML code which is just ugly unbelievably ugly so I was looking for you know a smart a smart and clever solution um, to basically just create um, the table in another program and then just basically paste the table code into WordPress and um, I'm using Ubuntu Linux 16.04 and well I was just like you know searching for some some off for some offline tools especially offline because sometimes I just don't have an an, an you know an active internet connection and um, yet I maybe still want to prepare this table so what to do I found a great solution and it just involves using Chrome or Chromium and this website froella.com slash la 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 la, la editor <laughs> what you see is what you get editor so basically what you have to do is first you have to enable some chrome flags so you type in chrome um, double column flags then you search for offline which will provide you with these three flags that you have to enable first offline auto reload mode please enable only auto reload visible tabs please enable and then show saved copy button please enable primary once done reload your chrome or chromium browser close the tab you're done now next step open this page and preferably um, bookmark it so i did this bookmark with some tags to remember html table editor right done perfect so now it comes the cool part I can now switch off my internet connection. So let's do zack, hardware switch, disconnected. You're now offline. Okay, I will now close this tab, but can demonstrate you now this great offline feature. So I will, you know, type in this Froella, and even though I'm offline, I can now show a saved copy. There we go. Isn't that great? And what I can now do is, you know, imagine now I'm just offline, I'm working on my post, I go to this WordPress page, to my blog post, I take the table code, which assuming I want to modify, you know, maybe, maybe I want to add another line, so I cut the code, I go here, I switch into source mode, I paste the source, go back into visual mode, and now I can just do my modification for example, insert row below. I insert another row because the next keyboard is waiting for me to be added. You Now I go back into the code view. I take the entire code again, paste it here, go into the visual mode, and there we go. I have my new line. Isn't that beautiful? I think it's a really clever solution. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I hope that was useful for you guys. And um, if you have any questions or problems, whatever, just leave a comment and I try. And I'm happy to help you. Thank you. Bye-bye.